with that buffalo, I reckon if he carries on grazing in the direction that he's going to, he just needs to take about five or six more steps and then he'll be in the firing line of that lioness. And perfect, she'll only need to do one or two strides before she get perfectly and will get to the perfect spot to catch that buffalo. This is amazing. Even if nothing materializes from this, I'm so excited the adrenaline is rushing through my body. Sebastian is breathing so loudly. Are you excited, Sebastian? Hey, this is what we wait for. This is the quiet mornings that we endure to wait for an opportunity like what we're hopefully going to experience. I think the ox peckers have seen what's going on. You can just, every now and then, you can hear them sort of alerting, but that buffalo is completely oblivious as to what's going on. He's going, he's going in exactly the right spot that she wants him to. There's another lioness coming out from the back as well. So a second one is joining. You can just see her. And one is joining. You can just see her. We will just have a quick look at her, but I think we'll keep our focus on the one that's a mere, probably only five meters away now from the buffalo. And I reckon at any moment she could make her attack. And just to let you know, the second buffalo has actually sat down now too. So if they chase this boy that's standing up and they miss him, they're probably going to go for the one that's sitting down because a buffalo, it's not the easiest animal to just stand up and start running. It's not an impala or a zebra that's quite light on its feet. She, she's coming in too. She's also stalking. But she's not going to be the one that makes the attack. The one that's closest to the buffalo is going to be the one that is going to start us off. As soon as she goes, the other lionesses from wherever, whichever grass that they're hiding under, then they'll start running. Wow. I can't even tell you how close that lioness is. I can't even see her in the long grass anymore. Come on, buffalo, two more steps. Two more steps. And I hope, I hope that all the lionesses are here. I hope that they're all in the area because the more of them that are here, the better chance they have of taking down the buffalo. But listen to the ox peckers are shouting, lion, lion, lion. Hear that? That's an alarm call from the ox peckers, that those buffalo are not listening to what they're having to say. And that's why it's so important to listen when you're out in the bush. Because it could mean between life and death in this buffalo's case. This is amazing. I think maybe they're waiting for that buffalo to turn, maybe turn slightly to the right. The other girl has come nice and close though. See that? She's actually doing that. She's trying to come closer towards us almost. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. Well, they've made their move. The buffalo know that the lionesses are there. Now they're gonna run. Look, 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 to the right, to the right. Buffalo is chasing the lion. You sneaky girl, you should have jumped. Go, 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 girls. They're not sure they're going to see which one's the weaker one, I think, and decide. We're going to just hang back over here and watch for the moment. We don't want to have a charging buffalo stampede into the car. There, off they go. Oh, here, all the girls are going. They're chasing them now. Hold on, hold on. Right, this is where the fun part starts. Hold on everybody, Sebastian. Okay, I think the buffalo have got away this time because here we stand just with the dust that's been left behind by the buffalo and some very, very disappointed looking lions. This is absolutely amazing. Maybe they're going to follow and see if they can try and catch them again. If they push them into a drainage line, they may even try and um, chase the buffalo and sort of un over uneven vegetation. Maybe it trips and falls where they'll have an opportunity. But that was quite interesting. She went, she ran, but she didn't jump. I thought she was going to jump straight onto the top of the buffalo's back. And it's like she got a little bit nervous. She sort of 
held back and she stopped and then went oh no you're a little bit too big how exciting was that three lionesses a failed attempt but unfortunately the big cats it's difficult for them it really really is hard especially when your prey is as fit and healthy as it's going to ever be what an exciting experience girls good attempt better luck next time